Thank you for investing in the Brown Set and Go pre-registration system. This system will speed up your on-press setup time. The process begins in the art department. A PDF file containing an artwork template was emailed to you. This file should be downloaded and put in an easily accessible location on your drive. I have placed it on my desktop. Open the file using Corel Draw. This template was designed for a large output device. You need to size it to your standard paper size. Define the artboard size to your a standard output. We use a 13 inch by 19 inch film, so I will change that. Select all of the art and move it back onto the artboard. The center top mark is called a horizon line. It should be located in the center of your board and at the top. Keep it within the printing area of the page. Select the items that fall off of your artboard and delete them. Print this template as a composite. This is the artwork that our installer needs. The technician will attach this to the art box in your screen area. Please have it ready before the technician arrives. For your separations, you will need everything on the template to be registration black in color. Confirm that this is the case by selecting an item and looking at the fill color. If it is black, then you will need to change it. Select all of the items on the artboard and open the Object Properties window. Select the fill color and change the items to registration color. At this point you can save the file or save as to keep the original. I prefer to keep the original and leave the new version on my desktop. I will call it SG Guide. Now that the file is saved in the proper format for your art and the template is printed for the installer, let's put in some artwork. Here is a simple two color design. This is a front print and fits on an artboard in portrait mode. After the design is complete and approved by the customer, go to the layers panel and add a new layer. We will name this layer registration marks. Go to the SG guide file and select all. Copy all, return to your artwork, and confirm you are on the Registration Marks layer, paste the marks. Then select your artwork and move it so that it will print in the proper position on the shirt. The horizon line represents the collar of the shirt. It will be set at the front edge of the platens on your Electroprint or Master Printer. I am setting this design center and two inches down from the collar. If this were a back print, I would set it further from the collar. If it were a pocket print, I would place it left of center. Next, return to the Layers panel. Lock your art layers and select the registration mark layer. We want to delete the marks that are in the artwork that we do not need. Leave the horizon line marks and two marks at the bottom of the artwork. The artwork is now ready to print. Use the print dialog you typically use. I print through AccuRip on a 13 by 19 film. This is a multicolor job, so I need separations. Choose the colors of the art you need to print. The Set and Go guide is in registration color, and the marks will print on every film. Our second example is a three color design. This one is larger and requires that the artwork be on an artboard that is in landscape mode. Add a new layer, name this layer Registration Marks, go to the SG Guide file and select All, Copy All, return to the artwork and confirm that you are on the Registration Marks layer, paste the marks. Then select your artwork and move it so that it will print in the proper position on the shirt. Now lock the artwork layer and delete the registration marks that you do not need.
The file is now ready to print. It is a three color job, so I will choose the same 13 by 19 film, separations, and the colors I need to print. The registration marks will print with each film. Additional videos are available if you do not use CorelDRAW. Please contact us with any questions. Thank you for choosing Brown Manufacturing Group.